A 75-year-old male patient was referred for hematochesia. Esophagogastroduodenoscopy and ileocolonoscopy did not reveal a bleeding source, and capsule endoscopy was performed. The capsule shows small ulcers within enlarged small bowel villi at the distal third of the small bowel. Intestinal content encumbered visualization of the small bowel mucosa. Increasing impurity might be a predictor of a functional stenosis in the distal small bowel. Here, the video is suggestive of some bleeding within the distal third of the small bowel. A polypoid mass is vaguely visualized. In a next step, balloon enteroscopy is performed and a large pedunculated polyp is detected, approximately 60 cm proximal to Bowen's valve. A small bowel segment of about 40 cm length shows granulation of the mucosa and ulcerations. Biopsies are taken from the lesion and sent for histopathological examination. Moreover, biopsies are taken from the adjacent mucosal alterations. Passage alongside the pedunculated and ulcerated polyp is achieved with the enteroscope. The proximal margin of the altered segment is marked with ink injection. Massive hemorrhage 14 days later necessitated emergency segmental resection of the diseased small bowel segment. Histopathological examination revealed an inflammatory fibroid polyp with an ulcerated small bowel segment. Follow-up of the patient was uneventful.